Hey, so you probably heard of ChatGPT, right? It's been answering all of our questions in record time, helping with everything from homework to creating poetry. But today we're talking about something super exciting. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has just launched their new reasoning models, and they're kind of a big deal. But what makes these models so different? Well, let's just say if ChatGPT were your quick-witted friend who always answers right away, these new models are like your thoughtful friend who pauses, thinks really hard about it, and then gives you a smarter answer. But will this really be a game changer for everyday AI users? These new models are called the O1 series. There's the O1 Mini and the O1 Preview. Basically, OpenAI's latest update to make ChatGPT even smarter when it comes to solving really tough problems. Think of it this way. Imagine you have a tricky math question or need to write some complicated code. You want someone to really think it through, right? That's exactly what these models do. They take their time to reason before answering, which makes them way better at solving hard challenges like math, science, and logic puzzles. So how much smarter are they? Well, during a math competition, yes, AIs do math competitions, the O1 model solved 83% of the problems, while GPT-4.0 only managed 13%. That's a huge difference. And in coding challenges, the O1 model hit the 89th percentile. This would be equivalent to going from a smart calculator to a full-blown math tutor who doesn't just give you the answer, but walks you through the steps and teaches you as they go. Now, what's really happening here? The O1 model takes longer to answer because it's using something called inference time computing techniques. Fancy word, I know. But basically, inference timing just means the model is spending more time thinking before it gives you an answer. This is like how you would use chain of thought prompting when prompting ChatGPT 4.0. How do you try these new models out? Right now, only ChatGPT Plus users. So if you're paying for ChatGPT, you already have access to this. Now here's where things get interesting. These models aren't just for school math problems. They're amazing for coding, for making strategic business decisions, or even for coming up with plans to solve really complicated issues. If you're working on something that needs serious thinking power, these models could be a huge help. Another thing to keep in mind is that these models are text only, meaning they're not multimodal yet like ChatGPT 4.0. Multimodal is a fancy way of saying that the model or AI can understand and work with different types of input at the same time. For example, if you showed a picture of a dog and ask it to describe the dog, it can look at the picture and give you an answer in words. Or if you give it a piece of text and ask it to create an image based on that description, it can do that too. It's called multimodal because it can handle multiple types or modes of information all together just like how humans use their eyes, ears, and language to understand and communicate with the world around them. Rate limits for pro users is another drawback. Right now, the O1 model is limited to 30 messages a week, while the O1 mini model extends to 50 messages. And of course, then there's the inference time. We're used to the instant gratification of GPT-40. You ask it a question and you instantly get a response. Having to wait 10 to 20 seconds for the O1 series to think might seem like a really long time by comparison. So should you switch over? Well, if you need a super smart AI for things like coding or complicated math, it's worth trying. But if you just want quick everyday answers, GBT 4.0 is still your best bet. I'd love to know what you think. If you've tried the O1 models already, let me know in the comments.